Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kuldeep here. Today we are going to learn about hierarchy of interfaces and classes in Selenium WebDriver. It is one of very important concept in the Selenium, and with help of it actually we can come to know how Selenium works internally. Okay. Apart from that. I will cover below interview questions as well. Like, what does it mean by web driver? Driver equals to new Chrome driver. And after that, we will see below two statements and try to figure it out that are below these statements valid or not. So, friends, let's start. First, let's try to understand hierarchy of interfaces and classes in Selenium web driver. With help of this diagram, here I denotes interface and C stands for the class. So here at the topmost level, there comes one interface that is the search context. And as it is an interface, so it just have the abstract method, which means it doesn't provide any implementation of those methods. Okay. So further, this interface is extended by WebDriver. Along with that, there are two more interfaces like JavaScript Executor and Drake Screenshot. So with help of JavaScript Executor, we can run the JavaScript in the Selenium. And this WebDriver interface provides certain method so that we can work on the uh, different browsers and interact with the web pages. And this take a screenshot helps us in taking the screenshot in the Selenium. Okay. So the point to remember here is that these all search context, JavaScript executor, web driver, and take a screenshot, they all are interfaces, which means they don't provide the implementation of the methods which has been defined inside it. Okay. So moving to the next level, there comes a class. That is known as the remote web driver. So basically, this class is responsible for providing the implementation of methods which has been defined inside these interfaces. Okay. Remote web driver class is extended by Chromium driver, which is further extended by Chrome driver, and uh, it is extended by the Firefox driver, uh, IE driver, and Safari driver. As all of these classes are the child classes of remote web driver class, which means so it will have all the methods that has been implemented by this remote web driver class. Along with that, they will have some browser specific implementation inside these classes. Okay. So now let's try to understand this thing practically. So here you can see like I am opening an instance of Chrome driver. After that, I am maximizing the window and then trying to launch the Amazon.com inside the Chrome browser. Okay, so now let's understand how uh, the things are working internally here. Let's first click on this Chrome driver. Okay. As you can notice, once I have clicked on this Chrome driver, you can see that class Chrome driver extends Chromium driver. Same thing you can connect from here that the Chrome driver is extending the Chromium driver. Now let's click on this Chromium driver. So here you can see that the class Chromium driver extends remote web driver. Okay. So the same thing you can connect from this screen that Chromium driver is extending the remote web driver class. Okay. Now let's click on this remote web driver. So here you can see that the remote web driver class is implementing the web driver, JavaScript executor, and this take screenshot interfaces. So the same thing you can understand from here. So what it is doing, remote web driver class is executing JavaScript executor, web driver, and take screenshot, right? And now let's click on this web driver. So here you can see that WebDriver extends search context. 
so which means this web driver is an interface which is extending the search context so let's see the same thing is happening here web driver is extending the search context okay now let's click on the search context so here you can see that this is the top most interface in the selenium web driver and it has just two methods that are the find elements and find element okay now I am sure that you are able to connect the dots here and understand this uh, whole uh, diagram clearly. Okay. So fair enough. Uh, let me close these windows. Okay. So see, like, what is our first question? So first question is, what is the web driver? Driver equals to new Chrome driver. So from this diagram, you can see that the Chrome driver is a class. So basically what happens here, when we are writing in this way, so here this Chrome driver is a constructor and constructor name and the class name should be same, which means it is coming from the Chrome driver class only. And this new is a keyword, which is used to create the object in the Java. And moving to this one, so basically it is a reference variable and that can hold any kind of object like Chrome driver or the Firefox driver. And what is this web driver? So obviously the web driver is an interface. Okay. So in a nutshell we can say that we are creating an instance of the Chrome driver which will open the Chrome browser and keeping it inside the web driver reference variable. So, if someone asks you uh, in the interview that uh, please explain this statement. So, you can say that here we are creating an instance of the Chrome driver to open the Chrome browser and we are keeping it inside the web driver reference variable. Let's move to our next question. The next question is can we give any other name instead of driver? The question is like can we write anything else? apart from driver here okay so let's say that we change the name of driver here to xyz okay and uh, then, then let's see like will it work or not i have changed the name to the xyz here and now let's try to execute this program and see is it working or not so it is working completely fine okay it doesn't matter what name we give because it is simply a variable name. So it can be anything. It is recommended that we are following certain rules and the guidelines. So that's why we are giving the driver here. Otherwise, it is completely fine to give any other name here because it is just a reference variable name. Okay. Let's move to our third question. So our third question is can we write web driver driver equals to new web driver? We cannot write in this way because the web driver is an interface here and uh, as interface contains only the abstract methods and variables and it doesn't have any method body which means like interfaces have only the declaration of method not their implementation so we cannot create an object of that interface but if you still you try to do it then we will get a, some sort of compilation error so let's try to do it here and see what kind of error we are getting let me change it to the web driver, right? So here you can see like it is giving an error like cannot instantiate the type web driver. So because the web driver is an interface and it doesn't have any implementation of the methods. So that's why we cannot instantiate it. Okay. So I hope you are able to connect the things here, like how the Selenium works internally, what are the different kind of interfaces and the classes it has, as well as uh, we have seen the things practically. So I am sure like it is helpful to you and uh, you will confidently handle the questions if they are related with the uh, interfaces and the classes in Selenium WebDriver. So friends, that's it for today's session. I hope it is helpful. Thank you for watching my channel. 
थैंक यू सो मच प्लीज लाइक कमेंट शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक्स अ लॉट